Hey guys, today we're going to talk about some reasons why you might be bored with your makeup collection. So you know when you buy a new makeup item or any new thing that you buy, you feel so much excitement for that new thing, you want to use it all the time, it just has that sparkly new novel feeling to it. And when you slow down your consumption, you might find yourself becoming bored with the stuff that you already own, even though you know at one point you felt so excited to use it. So I'm going to talk about some reasons why I think people often become bored and get into kind of a rut with their makeup collection and some ways that you can combat these things so that you don't feel tempted to buy new things that you don't really need or that you don't want to spend your money on. I feel like this is especially important with Black Friday coming up because <sighs> the Black Friday sales have already started. I'm filming this on Monday, November 14th, almost two weeks before the official Black Friday date, and the Black Friday sales have already started and it's already becoming overwhelming. I'm actually going to do a separate video on tips for staying sane and shopping mindfully during the Black Friday craze, so stay tuned for that. But today I wanted to talk about some more general reasons why you might be bored with your makeup collection and hopefully this can help you reignite that spark of inspiration that you might be missing with the products that you already own. The first reason why you might be bored with your makeup collection is that it's disorganized or maybe you've been using the same organization system for a long time. Sometimes just switching up how you store your makeup or Tidying up your makeup organization can make your whole collection just feel brand new. I recently did this with my makeup collection. I thought I was going to have to buy some additional little storage bins for my makeup, but I ended up realizing that I didn't even need to. I already had all the like drawer dividers that I needed, but I just switched things around. I took some of the bins that I was previously using for eyeshadow palettes and used those for my lip products. I had been storing all of my lip products in two kind of narrow dividers, and a lot of my lip products, I couldn't even see them because they were all just piled in there. So a lot of my lipsticks were just getting buried underneath other lipsticks, and it just wasn't a good system. I wasn't feeling inspired when I opened up my lip drawer. So I ended up just rounding up all of the little storage bins that I had, and I just kind of played around until I found a system that worked. And now I have my lipstick stored in a completely different way, but it looks so much more aesthetically pleasing when I open my drawer. And I can actually see every single lipstick that I have when I open the drawer so I don't have to go digging in there. I'm not getting frustrated when I look in there. And now that everything is laid out in a visually pleasing way, I just feel so much more excited to pick something out, maybe something I haven't used in a while. But a similar thing with my palettes, I'm actually able to see all of them. They're lined up in my drawer so that I can easily pick out which one I want to use. And just the simple act of reorganizing my collection, rethinking my storage system, has really just made my entire collection feel brand new again. So if you haven't organized your makeup lately, I highly recommend doing it. Even if you feel like your current makeup collection is already pretty organized, maybe try switching it up anyway. Maybe try taking everything out and just rethinking how you have everything set up. You could change up your storage with things you just have lying around the house. Maybe you have some containers in your kitchen that you're not using. Or you could go to Dollar Tree and get some inexpensive bins. I've gotten some really good storage items from Dollar Tree. A few things that I think they still sell are these drawer organizers. This is where I have my cheek products, but these are really nice and sturdy. They feel like something that you could get at like the container store or something. They even have a grip in the bottom, so it's really nice for makeup because it's not gonna be sliding around too much. And I have some bigger ones of those as well that I use for my lip products now. Also in the kitchen section, they have these butter dishes, which is like really just an acrylic container. These are great for things like eyeliners and lip liners. I have several of these in my collection, but I would bet you probably have enough just lying around your house that you could use to revamp your storage. And I kind of touched on this before, but as you're organizing your makeup collection, I recommend making a point to keep everything visible to you when you open your drawer. So, you know, instead of stacking your palettes up vertically in a stack, Try to stack them on their side so that you can see everyone almost like a, you know, a row of books or something. Or in the case of lipsticks, don't just throw them all in a bin. Try to have them set up so that you can actually see every single one when you open your drawer and that way uh, you won't get as overwhelmed and you won't be as likely to neglect products that would otherwise be getting shoved underneath other things. The second reason why you might be getting bored of your makeup or just kind of tired of your makeup, the same old makeup, is that your makeup is dirty. Makeup can get dirty, and this is something I feel like doesn't get mentioned enough. Like, I don't mention this enough. 
other youtubers hardly ever talk about this but every now and then you should clean your makeup just wipe it down take a little spray bottle with some rubbing alcohol or just like a damp cloth and wipe down all the smudges and fingerprints and makeup residue that's all over your products i mean i i probably am due to do this soon but this tower 28 cream blush i try to wipe it down between every use because it's clear and you can just see where all of the smudges are on there. Here's another one that I need to clean. You can just see all the smudges here. The mirror has fingerprints on it I need to wipe down. It's important to actually take care of the makeup that you have or else it is going to get grimy and dirty and of course you're not going to feel inspired to reach for it because it looks gross. And also as you're doing this it will remind you of the products that maybe you just haven't been feeling super excited about but making the products look shiny and new again is going to remind you how you felt when you first bought that product and it did look brand new. Also, same goes for your brushes. Clean your makeup brushes. If, you, if you're feeling bored by your makeup collection, a freshly cleaned set of makeup brushes can sometimes make all the difference. I swear, clean brushes do such a better job applying makeup than dirty brushes do. And I'm also talking to myself here because my brushes are getting to the point where they are a little gross. Reason number three why you're bored of your makeup collection, you're using the same products over and over again. Maybe you've gotten into the pattern of just doing the same look every day or using the same products just because maybe they're the ones that are at the top of your drawer. But if you're someone with a larger collection where you have, you know, multiple products in every category, maybe it's time for you to introduce some kind of a shop my stash, everyday makeup basket or everyday makeup drawer, makeup bag, whatever kind of thing you want to store it in. But I took a long break from doing a shop my stash and I reintroduced the series on my channel about a year ago now. I've been doing it for a year and I still get so excited to swap out the items in my everyday makeup drawer. It really does feel like a brand new set of products and I'm just, I get so excited to create new looks with all these products, even though they're products I've had in my collection for a long time, some of them I've had for years, but they still feel like new products. So if you're not doing some sort of a rotating shop my stash type of thing, I highly recommend doing it. Even if you do a project pan as well, I used to think that I would get overwhelmed between having both a project pan going on and a shop my stash but that has not been the case. I really like having like a fixed set of products that I'm working on in my project pan and those are kind of the products that I'll default to if I don't want to use anything else in my collection but then my everyday makeup drawer I like because I refresh it every two to three weeks and it always feels like I have a new or like a new set of old products to focus my attention on and create new looks with. Sometimes when you're craving newness in your life, you think that that means you need to buy new stuff, but a lot of times I found it really helpful to redirect that feeling of wanting to buy new stuff and instead trying new creative techniques and tips. I've really enjoyed doing videos where I test out some of your favorite makeup techniques that I've never tried before. That way I still feel like I'm discovering something new and I have that feeling of novelty, but I'm not actually having to buy anything new. So, you know, next time you're scrolling Instagram or TikTok or Pinterest and you stumble across a makeup look that you find really inspiring, on Instagram you can save a photo to a collection, you could start keeping a collection of makeup inspo, and then next time you're feeling like you're in a rut with your makeup, try to recreate that look or just try a new technique. Following different makeup artists also can be really a really good way to increase your creativity. And the more you kind of work your creativity muscle, you'll realize that you don't always need a new thing to achieve a new type of look. So keep that in mind. Reason number four why you're bored of your makeup collection, this one is for my project panners out there. You might be focusing too hard on your project pan items to the point where you are getting tired of those products or to the point where you're neglecting the rest of your makeup collection just for the sake of using up your project pan items. And this is something I think a lot of panners struggle with. So I think it can be helpful to just shift your mindset from feeling like you have to use your, or you're somehow obligated to use your project pan products in every single look that you do. I got a comment recently on my video. I think it was my video revisiting my plan to pan list from the beginning of 2022. Um, and I'll pop it on the screen, but she calls it default panning. So the idea here is that when you sit down to do your makeup, if there's something specific that you want to reach for in your collection, 
you just let yourself use it, whether it's in your project pan or not. Who cares? You're still using your makeup. But if it's a day where you don't really want to think about your makeup too hard, or you know, you're trying to head out the door in a hurry and you just need to do a quick face of makeup, that's when you default to your project pan items. I think that's such a good way of looking at it because you know, a lot of days I will just be like, I don't really know what concealer I want to use, so I'm just gonna use my project pan concealer. Um, I'll just default to that one, but whenever I feel that urge to grab something else, I'll just let myself grab something else because I want to spread the love across my whole makeup collection. To me, there's no point in letting other products get old and crusty and expired just because I'm using my Project Pan items. I never want to get into such a rut with panning that I don't enjoy the make all the beautiful makeup that I have. So if you feel like you're in a rut with your makeup, it might be because you're just paying too much attention to your Project Pan items. And I also don't think Project Panning is for everyone. If you've tried it and you just feel like it's not for you, you don't have to do it just because it works for some people doesn't mean it's gonna work for everyone. Just remember, makeup is meant to be fun. And if you feel like panning is taking away from that, then it might be time to you know, shift, shift your way of thinking a little bit. Maybe that means re restructuring your Project Pan or picking out some new Project Pan products, or it might just mean taking a break from panning altogether and just get to know your collection as a whole. The next reason you're bored with your makeup collection. You're paying too much attention to new releases. It might be time to unfollow Trend Mood, or if you find yourself scrolling the new arrivals section on Sephora or Ulta, delete those off of your phone. One of the ways that I don't feel tempted by new releases is Honestly, I don't really pay that much attention to the new products that are on the market. I just don't spend a whole lot of time thinking about new releases, and most new releases just don't tempt me. I would rather wait until the hype has died down a little bit and then decide if it's something I want to bring into my collection. So sometimes just changing what content you're consuming can really help with this. If there are certain YouTube channels that really push all these new releases and you feel like that's making you want to overconsume and it's it's making you feel less appreciative of the products that you already own maybe it's time to shift who you're watching it's okay to unsubscribe from channels you don't have to feel um, bad for doing that like it's nothing personal I, I don't think it's anything personal I'm sure people have unsubscribed from my channel doesn't bother me you know we have we all go through different phases types of content that we're enjoying. Maybe one day down the road you could resubscribe to those channels just because you like them as people, but really think about what content you're consuming and how that's affecting the way that you consume makeup. The last reason you might be bored of your makeup collection I'm going to talk about today is that no one is making content about your older products. The products that were once new and shiny and exciting and got a ton of hype on YouTube, now no one is talking about them, no one is using them in videos, which is understandable from a content creator's perspective. It's not always in the YouTuber's best interest to make a video about an old discontinued palette because it takes a lot of work to create a YouTube video and those videos, they just don't get a whole lot of views and then the YouTuber is not going to be properly compensated for their time that it took to make the video. I won't keep harping on that, but you know what YouTube is, is a search engine. So just because you're not seeing any new videos in your subscription feed or on your homepage about those older products, doesn't mean those videos don't exist. There are tons of videos out there that you probably haven't even seen yet with looks using, let's say, the Natasha Denona Gold palette. It's a discontinued palette that maybe you have and, you know, you want some inspiration to use that palette. You can always find videos with people using those palettes. You could even create a playlist of videos that you could watch next time you need some inspiration or you want to try out a new look with that old palette. So don't forget that you can always seek out older videos and um, you can go back to videos where people were reviewing that palette for the first time back when it was brand new and you'll be able to see the excitement that they had for that new product and hopefully it can re-inspire you to use that same old product. So yeah, it's unfortunate that not a lot of content is coming out on older products, but you can always find that content for yourself if that's what you're looking for. So those are just some reasons why you might be feeling in a rut with your makeup or you're not feeling excited to use the makeup you already have and then you're, you know, going down this rabbit hole looking for new things to buy. And sometimes it's fun to bring in new products too, but I think it's equally important to enjoy the products that you already have, even if that's not really what 
brands or even most influencers are encouraging you to do. So I hope you found this video helpful. Let me know down below what are some things that you like to do when you feel like you're starting to get into a makeup rut or you're getting bored with your makeup collection. Let us know in the comments below what tips you have. But thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I hope you had fun. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I would love to see you again soon, and hopefully I will talk to you very soon in my next video. Bye.